Today we're going to talk about fractions. We're going to talk about what it means to say A over B divided by C versus A divided by the fraction B divided by C versus A over B over C. This last one, this is just completely wrong. This last one is wrong. This is not defined and means nothing. Okay? So the reason that's not defined is because what is defined? What, what is defined? Okay, well, what's basically defined is a fraction, x over y, which can be written as x divided by y, and it can be written as x division symbol by y, although we never use that in advanced mathematics. We never use the division symbol. Okay, x over y. And what does that mean? It means, what is the meaning? Well, first of all, I really want to emphasize, and I think color sometimes helps people emphasize these things. So I'm just going to make the x always purple. So we think about the number on top as being purple and the one under it is blue. Think of blue as, think of it as a ship. So I have a ship here running over the ocean and the ocean is blue, okay? So this way we keep track of what is on top and what is below throughout what we're talking about, right? So we have this division, the x is on top. This division still means the x is on top. And if I write x over here, this still means the x is on top. And what does that actually mean? It means that the x is this thing. It's a length. X is a length of a... I'm going to define this geometrically, okay? So I'm giving a geometric meaning. Okay? And if Y is a number... Y is another length, okay? So Y is a second length. Y is another length. And x divided by y, x divided by y tells us how many y's add up to x. Now that's not that may be kind of weird, right? So let me let me just do an example and you'll be like, "Oh yeah, of course." So for example, example. Let's do an example. Example. So let's consider the example. Suppose x is 12, okay? So let's just take x equal 12 and we're going to consider y equal to 3. And we're asking then 12 divided by 3. And we're saying, what, what is this? What is this equal to? Okay? So you take your 12, my length 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So that's my x. That's 12. And my y is 3. One, two, three. That's my y. And now we want how many y equal threes are we going to need to fit to be 12? So let's start counting it off. How many do we need? Well, we need one of them. And then a second one. That gets me up to six. So the first gets me as far as three. And then we get up to six when we have two of them. And then we get up to nine. And then we get up to 12. So I have a three plus a 3, plus a 3, plus a 3. And if I add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, I do get equal to 12, yes. So that works. So we're saying we have 4 copies. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So our conclusion is, so... 12 divided by 3 
is equal to this number four. Okay, so let's just do a couple more. I know this is very trivial and very simple, but let's really emphasize exactly this point, okay? So example, let's you try to find um, 16 divided by 2 equals what? And then we'll do a more, try it out right now. Okay, let's do 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's my 16. And then we have 2. 2, which gets me as far as 2. Another 2 gets me as far as 4. Another 2 gets me as far as 6. Another 2 gets me as far as 8. Another 2 gets me as far as 10. Another 2 gets me as far as 12. Another 2 gets me as far as 14. And the last 2 gets me all the way up to 16. How many 2s was this? I'm sorry. All of these 2s I should have been drawing in blue, right? Because that's the denominator. Sorry about this. Let me put all this blue. Because we're making our ocean, our blue underneath, right? Okay. The 2 should be in blue. How many 2s did we need to make 16? Count them up. One of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, five of them, six of them, seven of them, eight, eight twos. Eight times two. Eight times two equals 16. So 16 divided by two, divided by two in blue, we have to, it's the ocean, it's underneath, divided by two is equal to eight. All right, now, that's fine. We, we just did the trivial ones. You understood this a long time ago already, but we have to still talk about the more complicated things like A over B divided by C and A over B divided by C. So I want to get to that in the next video.